Welcome or welcome back at the help at c squared. In this example, we're going to divide two polynomials. 15 x to the 4 power and uh, plus 21 x cubed minus 5 x squared plus 0 x. Yeah, you want to write this term plus 0. Divide by 3x squared plus, and here the same story, you're going to write a 0x plus 2. What should I multiply 3x squared to get 15x to the 4 power? And that will be 5x squared, right? 5x squared times 3x squared is 15x to the 4 power. 5x squared times 0 is 0, times 0x is 0. 0x cubed, that's the reason you want to write it, we see it. And 5x squared times 2 is positive 10x squared. So the next thing we're going to do is to subtract. And you notice these uh, two terms cancel out, they will always cancel out. And now, like I said, when we, we see that 0x cubed, that's very good. We're going to have positive 21x cubed minus positive 0x cubed, that will be 21x cubed. Uh, and here we have negative 5x squared minus positive 10x squared, minus 15x squared, sorry. <coughs> then let's copy the 0x. And you can copy the 0 also if you want. But let's see, what should I multiply 3x squared? to get 21x cubed, and that is 7x. 7x times 3x cubed is 21x cubed. 7x times 0x is 0x squared. And 7x times 2 is 14x. So the next thing is going to be, we're going to subtract. And let's see what we get. The first two terms cancel out, which is good. Negative 15x squared minus negative 0x squared. That is negative 15x squared. 0x minus positive 14x. That is minus 14x. And plus 0 here. And we have to do it only one more time. What should I multiply 3x squared to get 15x squared? And that will be 5. 5 times 3, negative 5, in fact. So negative 5 times 3x squared is negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times 0x is negative 0x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And like usual, we're going to subtract the gentle one. These two guys cancel out. And then we have negative 14 minus negative 0. That is negative 14x. And uh, 0 minus negative 10. That is positive 10. The degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divider. So we stop here. And now we can... Identify Q of X. Q of X is the answer. 5X squared plus 7X minus 5. R of X is the remainder, which is negative 14X plus 10. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.